In this video, I'll be transforming this walking dog toy into a real life crawling dog day animatronic from Poppy Playtime. But wait, there's more. I won't be keeping dog day. No, 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 no. It's going to one of you. Hidden somewhere in this video, I wrote down a key phrase that you guys need to comment below. So make sure you watch the full video so you don't miss the hidden message so you can take this guy home. Good luck and enjoy the video. Well, well, well. Look what the cat drug in. It has been a while. I've been trying to do so many projects and they've all failed, but I'm gonna keep working on them. You guys absolutely love my Poppy Playtime stuff. I don't know what it is about it. I've actually never played the game, so I don't know anything about it, but it seems to be very popular. And as you know, I've made the crawling catnap animatronic, and I've also made the giant hanging dog day animatronic. Now it looks like you guys love dog day the most. So I'm gonna be making a crawling dog day animatronic just like I did with catnap. And as you can tell, I bought another crawling walking dog. So I'm gonna turn this guy into dog day. I also get a lot of comments saying, oh, his head's too big. It's not, it's not and I swear. If you look at any 3D models or the game models, he's got like a ginormous head. So I wanna make sure it was proportionally accurate. But for this dog day one, I might shrink the head size just a little bit so it doesn't tip over, just a little bit. Let's get catnap out of here and let's go ahead and make a crawling dog day animatronic. I will put the prices on the screen as well as in the description so you guys know how much I spent on this. I bought this walking dog animatronic, the same as that company who made the cat one that I turned into catnap. It was yellow tag day at Goodwill, so I bought all of this fabric for like a dollar ninety cents, so less than two dollars for all this fabric. And of course, I got a zipper for his belly. And just like I did for my crawling catnap, I got some project foam. You can get this at like Joann's, Walmart, Goodwill even maybe. Uh, I got this for about like, I wanna say it was $5 at Goodwill. Luckily it's brand new and someone had it there. So make sure you guys check out your thrift stores. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the dog out of the box and see if it works. I've actually had this for like months and have never opened it yet. Let's hope it works. Moment of truth to see if this thing works. I'm gonna go turn it on and see if he can walk over to my boy, cat, my boy, girl, catnap over there. Well, he's licking. Walk. He's not walking. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. I thought that was. The... I don't even know what I was gonna say. And he's licking catnap. Look how happy he is, cause he works, he can walk. All right, shut up. All right, now that, whoa. Now that we know that this guy can walk. Let's rip him apart. Welcome to dog day daycare makeover. Welcome to an AJD makeover. In this episode, we're gonna be peeling off the skin of this dog to turn him into a monster from a popular video game called Poppy Playtime. In all seriousness, I'm actually not going to cut off the fur because of its fluff to it. I might shave it down a little bit and then add like hot glue, low temp hot glue, make sure it's low temp hot glue and add the fabric over it. That way it adds like a layer of stuffing, but I am gonna chop off his head. I know that sounds a little bad, but it needs to be flat because his mouth is caved in obviously. And I'll be making that out of my foam. But in the meantime, I'm gonna cover his whole body in orange fabric minus the head. Before I add the actual fabric on there, I do need to cut off the existing fabric around the tail and the head. So I'm gonna go uh, do that real quick. So now we are left with this monstrosity. It's got no head and it's super small. We got a little springy tail. And of course we have all this stuffing and all, and even the head. Look at that head right there, poor guy. But I am gonna reuse the stuffing for the tail and some of the cotton that kind of spills out of him because he's all like torn up and ripped. This will not go to waste. I will use this. It's time to add the fabric to it. Also do what the whiteboard says. Thank you. 
All right, so the orange fabric is completely on the crawling dog day animatronic. Uh, it turned out pretty good. Luckily, the fabric was anti-pill fleece, meaning it's very stretchy. So when you pull it, it avoids wrinkles. It's a little bit wrinkly, but it's pretty good. So the next step is the yellow that's actually on his belly. I cut out a piece of paper that looks like the belly patch, traced it onto some yellow fabric. So I'm gonna go cut this out, hot glue it onto his belly, and then cut a little slit so I can put the zipper in there. All right, I just got done putting the yellow onto the belly as well as the zipper. And not only is it like aesthetically cool and looks exactly like it does in the game, it's actually fully functional. You can zip it down and you can access the battery compartment and turn it on if you need to. Pretty cool. Now I'm gonna be taking this maroon brownish colored fabric and add it onto the feet. Besides the head, the last part for the body is the tail. So I went ahead and sketched what his tail looked like using some 3D models I found online. I made a couple of them. One of them was too small. This one's just right. The next step is to trace this on some fabric, get two of them and here them together, put a little cotton in there. Then I just hot glue it on the tail and it should, when it walks, it should wag, which would be really cool. Now that the tail is completely attached, it is time to make the head. What I ended up doing was going to Microsoft Excel and making a template of Dog Dig's face. I went ahead and cut it out and I'm gonna make the head out of foam. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ears so I just have the head because the ears are gonna go on separately. There are four sheets of foam and I should be able to cut each sheet into four equal sections. Let's go ahead and make the head. All right, I just got done carving the head from the foam and it does not look very pretty, obviously. I'm gonna have to do a lot more trimming.
I'm almost done with the head. It's, the carving's going pretty well. I'm actually so glad that I made, I know this sounds really weird because I came up with the idea, but the catnap uh, tutorial for this guy, I actually had to go back and watch the video because I completely forgot how I made the head, if I uh, made a muzzle or not, and uh, check this out. Give him his mustache. I mean muzzle. Bazinga. That's some peak, that's some peak memeage right there. So now, thanks to my tutorial, I know how to make the dog day version. Ah, oh, I gave him a mustache. Look at that, that's peak comedy. Bazinga. <laughs> As you can tell, I made a pretty big mess, which means that the head is completely carved out. It looks <laughs> very ugly without its fur and its ears, but we will get that on there. But what I, what I wanna do first is cut a hole right on the bottom and stick it on to our animatronic dog's head just to see if it can support it and how well it moves. All right, so I just put the head on there. It fits pretty well. I'm gonna go see if he can walk over to catnap right over there. So I'm gonna go turn him on. Head moves, that's good. And he can walk. You can see his tail kind of wiggles. See if you can give him a big kiss. There you go. Okay, I turned them off. So the head movement is really good. It's actually a way better now that the head's a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be. Much more fluidity in there and it doesn't lean down like that. This one, if I push it down, it will stay down. So this is a perfect head size for stability. Now the next step is to cover the head in the right fabric. And there are three different colors that the head is composed of. Mostly orange with a darkish maroonish color, the same as I did with the boots or like the, the legs, the feet. Is that what it's called? The feet. It's got like a brownish reddish patch right here. And then the mouth is like a yellow tan color. And I have all the fabric right here that I'm going to be using for this head. And of course I'll have to do the ears. That'll come later. After several excruciatingly painful minutes of trying to sketch out an ear, I finally came up with this little guy. It's pretty good. It looks pretty wide up here, but that's because his ear goes like all the way to the back of his head. I don't, I'm not judging. I'll be transferring this onto some brown fabric 
four different times because I need two different sides for each ear. Unlike the giant dog day animatronic I made a couple months ago, this one's gonna have cotton in the ears to make it look puffy, but I'm also gonna be using some armature wire to bend it down so it has that natural curve to it. Let's get this thing traced on. I got the two ears and I'm gonna hot glue them onto his head. All right, so as you can see, the ears are completely on the dog day crawling animatronic thingy. Now the next steps are the eyes and that little, I forgot to add it to my catnap guy. There's like this little like vent thing. I think it like projects smoke. I've never played the game, so I don't know. So for that vent, when I went and made that balloon Hello. boy, up there, which his arm actually fell off, unfortunately. Uh, I bought these little speakers. I bought these little speaker things to put in there. I ended up buying two of them, so I'm just gonna take the cap off of the speaker, and it's like the perfect shape and size for the vent. For the eyes, as you can tell for catnap, I use some of these LED circular things that are controlled by just a singular remote, changes different colors. So I'm gonna go to the store really quick and get one. I'm back and I got some goodies. So unfortunately, Walmart didn't have those LED lights that I used for the catnap and then the big dog day. So I had to improvise because I want to finish this by tonight. So I went to Michael's and found these Halloween themed string lights that have eyeballs on there and it looks like it'd be the perfect size to fit inside of his eye hole. Now, of course it is pink, so I'm gonna have to use some acetone to get rid of that or paint over it. I think this will work, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide it in like the zip up part on his belly. And I got a lot of comments on my giant dog day saying, oh, he's got googly eyes and all that. So I thought it'd be funny if I went and bought some googly eyes and use the clear, I I'm not gonna use the black part because it is too small, but I'm gonna use the clear part and paint it black on the inside and use that as his eye that kind of like fell down. Let's give our little guy some eyes. Obviously he only has two eyes, so I don't need the like 20 of them that are on here. And I looked it up on Google to make sure I could do it. I think I can cut the wire so I only have two of them. We're gonna test it out really quick and you guys will see if I uh, am an idiot. As you can see, luckily it does still work. It works perfectly. So now I'm gonna have to take off the uh, pink paint on there using some acetone or nail polish remover. I have nail polish remover.
Next is the sun pendant. You can't forget the sun pendant. Originally, I was gonna make it all out of EVA foam, but I had a whole bunch of leftover googly eyes. So I'm just gonna take the clear bit of the googly eye, cause it's all rounded and paint it yellow. And that'll be the middle sun part. And I'm just gonna use orange EVA foam for the rays. I went ahead and found a picture of the sun pendant, printed out a whole bunch of different sizes. And this fits perfectly onto this one. So I'm gonna cut this guy out onto some orange EVA foam. While I wait for the nose, eye, and the sun pendant to finish drying, I think it's time to destroy him. I have to make him all withered and old looking and destroyed because that's how he looks in the game. So I'm gonna make this guy look all destroyed. I do apologize for all of that anger. We're gonna kick it back Bob Ross style. As of now, I am painting white and red on the cotton. This is to demonstrate the agony that Dog Day went through. Now add some hot glue to hold it all together, but don't touch it. I s wait, why are you touching it? Wait, no, it's all over your hands, you idiot, let go. Let go, it's all over your hands, what are you doing? Oh my, oh, okay, yeah, let's move on to the other ear. We're adding some nice red highlight, oh no, oh no. Not the hot glue. Please don't touch it. Please don't touch it. Oh no, it's getting close. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. He used cotton. Bravo, AJD. This is my patent pending withering technique using black paint and a sponge. You lightly dab it over all the fur and it makes it look all withered and old and disgusting. I love this method. I use it for all of my projects. You don't want to add too much, but you also don't want to add too little. Good job going to work. What was that? Did you just wink at me? Did, did you just blow me a... Get out of here, dude. Can't believe I'm getting hit on doing a voiceover. <sighs> well, it looks like the sun is all done drying and it's time to put it together. That also means my voiceover time is up. It's been great, everyone. See you again soon. All right, I am done with the withering. I took the chunks off of his ears. I hot glued them in to make it look like it's like flesh. I also did the sun pendant and this turned out really well. I love how it looks. It's not attached to the zipper. It's just above it because I wanted to stay put, uh, but it looks really good. The next step is to add his little nose and that eye that hangs down and a couple more wires. The nose is just about done drying. The eye needs just a little bit more time. So I'm just gonna put the nose on there. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my Crawling Dog Day animatronic. In order to get this guy walking and his eyes light up, there are two buttons you need to press. The zipper on the bottom is not just for aesthetic, it's also functional. You pull the zipper down and you can access this first battery pack, which is for the lights. You switch it all the way to the right for on and his eyes glow. And to get this guy to crawl, there is an on and off switch on the very bottom. I'm gonna flip the switch closest to my body, so towards his left back foot. As you guys can see, this Dog Day animatronic is fully functional. He lights up, he talks, he walks, he can even lick, and he can even attack catnip. Whoever wins this animatronic, congratulations, and you got yourself a new little puppy dog. 
see he already loves you. If you're confused on how to enter the giveaway, somewhere in this video I had a key phrase that I need you guys to comment. That way I can randomly sort through all the comments and see which one has those phrases and enter you guys into a giveaway to win this little guy. At the time of recording, we are only 10,000 subscribers away from getting 300,000 subscribers. That's like three of these plaques. That's incredible. So thank you guys so much for all of the support. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to make next. I know Halloween is right around the corner, so maybe something fun for Halloween. We'll see. All right, you wanna say goodbye, Dog Day? Look, he's trying to already go to his new home. Look at that. He's on his way over to you right now.